Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. If you're getting into home espresso, once you know a few simple basics, you'll be able to make drinks that are much better than what you can get at a cafe. So check out this Encore video presentation covering espresso volumes, weights, and ratios. You'll learn the golden rule of espresso and how to make it right even if you don't have a scale. And during the premiere of this Encore presentation, I'm gonna be live down in the comments to answer any questions you have on coffee and espresso techniques or equipment. Now, before we get to the video, a reminder that Whole Latte Love has the best selection of everything coffee and espresso. Plus, our experts, they are passionate. They're going to get you the advice and products you need. And the shopping experience at Whole Latte Love, check it out. Many products in 3D and augmented reality so you can see it on your countertop before you buy. And if you want to stand out from the crowd, use our customizer to add unique colors or wood components on select machines to create one that's your very own. Plus, you can bundle products for automatic savings. And don't forget to go to the sale page at Whole Latte Love for special Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals going on now. With that out of the way, here's that video with the basics of volume, weight, timing, and ratios that'll have you making better espresso. You're extracting espresso and you want to go for a typical one to two brew ratio. You're trying to use about 18 grams of ground coffee in your portafilter, but you don't have a scale, so you'll have to rely on a liquid volume measurement in milliliters to try and cut your extraction at the right time, thinking that a one to two ratio using about 18 grams of ground coffee should yield about 36 milliliters in liquid volume. Hey, Espresso Lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, a look at weights, liquid volumes, shot timing, and brew ratios. The real focus here is why it's difficult to use liquid volumes when doing brew ratios and a potential workaround if you don't have a scale. So it's a question I get all the time. Hey, Mark, how come your one to two ratio from 18 grams of ground coffee sometimes produces a liquid volume of around 60 milliliters? Shouldn't it be 36? So here's the deal on that. First, you've got to love the metric system where one milliliter of pure water weighs one gram. The problem is one milliliter of espresso rarely weighs one gram. Why? Well, it's not pure water. It's got dissolved solids in it, but the real issue is the crema. It weighs nowhere near one gram per milliliter of volume. If you're pulling shots using a coffee which produces a lot of crema, your liquid volume will be much higher if you include the crema in the measurement. So, should you forget about the crema and just consider only the liquid espresso? Well, that's not gonna be accurate as the crema does have some weight. You could wait for the crema to settle out some and get a better read on the real liquid volume, but there's still some guesswork and you'll lose some heat, plus the mouthfeel and aromatics the crema is adding to your shot. So if you're serious about doing accurate brew ratios, the only way to get there is using a scale to weigh your coffee dose and what ends up in your cup. Comparing the weight of your ground coffee to a liquid volume in your cup just doesn't work. Now, not everyone uses scales. If you don't have a scale, you can work with a coffee and find a liquid volume you like, including the crema, and repeat that volume and get by without weighing. You'll be estimating or guessing a bit, so it's not the accuracy you'd get with a scale, but for some, that's good enough. I also want to touch on shot timing. The general guidance, sometimes called the golden rule, is an espresso should extract in 20 to 30 seconds. Now, I choose to time from first drip due to the number of different machine types I use and variables like longer duration, low flow pre-infusions, but it's perfectly acceptable to time from pump on if you prefer. Just keep in mind timing is relative to your equipment. You can't assume a coffee pulled with the same timing on different equipment will taste the same. Also know that while timing is the most basic way of appraising an extraction, you still need to be in the ballpark with timing when using a scale to do brew ratios. For example, you could easily change your grind size and pull a one to two ratio that's way under or way over the 20 to 30 seconds, resulting in a very under extracted sour shot or an over extracted shot that's bitter. 
If you'd like to dive deeper into using brew ratios with scales, check out the video linked up here or down in the description. That video covers ratios for drinks like the Ristretto and Longo, and ways of modifying brew ratios by adjusting grind size or cutting shots early or letting them run longer. If you have any questions on this video or anything coffee, use the comments and I'd be happy to get you a detailed answer. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe if you love coffee or espresso so you'll get the latest on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.